Who will do, tiddly peeps? I'm Hubba Hubba, talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favourite hoobs down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobopedia. Here they come! You know who the hoobs are? Ivor! Groove! And Tula! We're hoobs! And they're ready to go. Things we want to know. Hey! Holla, holla, in Hoobland, and Rome is somewhere far away. The motorettes are singing. We keep the engine spinning. Hoop, hoop, hooray! The Hoobopin is coming your way. Oh, it's Hooby Groovy. Hmm. It needs... Uh, it needs... It needs another rock. That's what it needs, Tula. I'll go get one. <laughs> Make it a big one, Groove. OK. <laughs> Whoops! Oh. Oh. Groove? Groove? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <gasps> Didn't sound too fine to me. Just slipped up in some mud, that's all. <laughs> There, <laughs> one hooby groovy rock for our hooby groovy rock display. <laughs> Groove, you're covered in mud. Hmm? Oh yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, how about a hoobal digger for finishing the rock display? <laughs> hoobal, <gasps> hoobal. Oh, stop! Stop? Why? 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 Digger groove, then we'll be muddy too. Oh, come on. What's a little bit of mud between friends? Let's clean you up, Groove. Then you can have a hoobal digger. Oh, all right. <laughs> Do be careful, Groove. You're getting mud everywhere. Yeah, I'm sorry. We've got to clean him up before he gets mud all over the hoobmobile. Before we do hoob news. Hoob news, yes. Hoob news? We don't even have a question yet. Hmm? Ugh. How are we ever going to get Groove clean? Hubba, 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 hubba. Oh, well, there's a question. How are we ever going to get Groove clean? Ha! That is a fantabby hooby question for Hoob News. And one that every hoob will want to know the answer to. Yeah, especially me. <laughs> I want a hoobal digger. <laughs> and I want all the information you can find on getting clean for my great Hoobapedia. I'll email Roma now and tell her the question. Thanks, Hubba Hubba. Um, any idea where we should start? Hmm, let me see. <laughs> There's a story here and it looks as if... Yes, it's all about keeping clean. Oh. <laughs> There once was a little stripy apron. He was worn by a cook. Every day, the cook would make soups and stews and pies and puddings. But the little stripy apron wasn't very happy. This cook is such a clean and careful cook. I never get splattered. Oh, I do so want to get splattered. That's what an apron's for. Then, one day, the cook got an order for a big chocolate cake. <sighs> Hurrah! shouted the little stripy apron. Chocolate cake is very messy. I'm bound to get splattered today. The cook mixed up the cake mix, but the apron didn't get splattered. The cook poured the cake mix into a tin, but the apron didn't get splattered. Not a single little splatter, moaned the apron. Then the cook carried the cake to the oven, but she slipped up on the kitchen mat. Ah! Hooray! 
shouted the apron. The cake has splattered all over me. That's the biggest splatter ever. The apron was very happy, but soon he was even happier. The cook had to make another chocolate cake, and this time she had to hurry. As she stirred the cake mix, the apron got splattered. As she poured it into the tin, the apron got splattered. Soon, the apron didn't even look stripy anymore. He just looked chocolatey. But underneath him, the cook was lovely and clean. When the cook realised what a good job the apron could do, she wasn't quite so careful. So from that day on, whenever she made chocolate cake, the apron always got a really good splatter. <laughs> An apron is herbaceous. Perfect for keeping a hoob clean. I wonder who got to eat that chocolate cake. It looked hoobalicious. There. One apron, just like in the story. Hooby groovy. Let's try that, Tula. Come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Your neck. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh, yes. So, do I get a hoobal digger now? OK, here we go. Hoobal. <laughs> Hoobal digger 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 digger. <laughs> oh, great Hoobal digger, Tula. Right, you'll go, Ivor. Oh, wait a minute. Tula is still clean. Mm, the apron worked. But Groove is still muddy. But oh, does that mean you won't give me a Hoobal digger? The apron is very good at keeping Tula clean, but it doesn't actually clean you if you're already dirty. Oh, so the apron isn't the answer. Well, at least I've got one Hoobal digger. Hubba, hubba. Oh, it's Hubba Hubba. Maybe he's found something for us. Who will do, Hoobs? Oh, dear. I see Groove still covered in mud. Oh, that doesn't matter, Hubba Hubba. I've had a Hoobal digger. It does matter, because we need to get you clean in order to answer the question. Oh, yes, there is that. Don't forget, Hoobs everywhere will want to know the answer. I've been busy searching Hoobnet, and I found some pictures of peeps cleaning things. Why don't you take a look? Oh, look, Hoobs, a long feathery dusting stick cleaning those pictures. And there are some peeps cleaning a door. There's somebody doing some wiping. Oh, look, there's the long feathery stick again. And that peep's doing some polishing. And there's the long feathery stick dusting a table. And he's cleaning in the kitchen. And those two ladies are doing some polishing. And there's a peep doing some wiping by the sink. Hooby galooby. Hey, how about that long feathery thing on the stick? Yes, it's a lot like our Hooby engine duster. I, I cleaned the motorettes with it just the other day. Now, where did I put it? Hmm. <laughs> hey! Wait, that is just like the cloth the peeps were using. <laughs> Maybe this would get you clean. Stand still. Come on, round you go. There. I'll just. Hmm, I, um, oh. I... <coughs> hmm. Oh, didn't work, did it? No, it just spread the mud all over your fur. You look even dirtier now. Do I? Oh, Hooby Groovy. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. I found the Hooby Engine Duster. Right, Groove, prepare to be cleaned. <laughs> go on, go for it, Tula. <laughs> 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 You're tickling me. Um, Tula. Yes, Ivor. Um, <laughs> who be galoopy? The, the feathers—they've stuck to the mud. Oh no! Now you're even dirtier. Yeah. Oh. This isn't going awfully well, is it? Hubba, hubba, hubba. Ah, maybe Hubba Hubba will have an idea. Who will do, Hoobs? Ah, oh, Groove. Now, that really is an interesting look. Yeah, the feathers are a nice touch, don't you think? No, they're not. <clears throat> we still don't know how to get Groove clean, Hubba Hubba. Well, why don't you go and ask some tiddly peeps? I've heard they like getting dirty, so perhaps they know how to get clean. Oh, good thinking, Hubba Hubba. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'll drive. Let's get those motorettes singing. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Seat belt. Mm -hmm. 
We're, We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps! We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps, on the road we go! We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps, they're smart! They're fun, they know! The Tiddly Peeps, the Tiddly Peeps, help us find things out! They give us clues, they tell us news, that's what they're all about! We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps, on the road we go! We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps, they're smart! They're fun, they know! The Tiddly Peeps, the Tiddly Peeps, if we need to know! Who, what, where, why, when and how, we'll ask them off we go! Tiddly Peeps on the road we go. We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps. There's fun, they're fun, they know. Uh, oh, hello, Tiddly Peeps. Hello, hello, Ivor. Do you want to do a hooby hello for me? Yes. yes. Go on then. Hoobledoo, hoobledoo, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased I found you. You see, oh, Gru fell in a mud puddle and now we can't get him clean. Um, what do Tiddly Peeps use to get clean? So, this is a bar of soap. Oh. A bar of soap? How does it work? You need some water. Uh, uh, then you rub uh, the soap all over your hands. Groove Tula, look! It's going all bubbly! Bubbly? Yeah, yes. yes, bubbly! <laughs> and then you rinse the soap off with some more water. And then they're all clean. Look! They are hoobaciously yeah. clean. Yes. Uh, but the problem is, hoops don't like water. Uh, um, do you think soap will work without water? Oh, I'm not sure. We always use water. Mm. You could take a bar of soap to try, though, if you like. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to give Groove a good clean with this bar of soap yeah. right now. <laughs> Hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. <laughs> Do you know, I think a few more feathers would look quite good. Groove, you're supposed to be getting clean, not feathery. But I like being feathery. I've got the soap. Oh. We'll soon have you clean. Oh, go on then. <laughs> clean away. Oh, yes, of course. I'm going to rub it all over you. Here we are. Oh. Now, I'll have to do the... Ah. And down the... Oh. 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 I don't see any bubbles. Hmm? Oh, no. Yeah, it's not bubbly at all. In fact, it's just... just sticky. Oh. <sighs> well, the soap won't work without water. Oh, there's no way this hoop's going to get wet. But I do like being muddy, feathery and sticky. Yeah. Oh, dear. The more we try and clean Groove, the dirtier he gets. Yeah. He's got feathers on his mud and soap on his feathers. Who be groovy? I'm the dirtiest hoob ever. Oh, we've got to do something. But what? What, what, what? What? Roma. Roma. It's Roma. Maybe she'll know what to do. Who will do poops? Who will do Roma? Now, today I'm reporting from a peep's house, which is very dirty at the moment because I just dropped a big bag of hooby cookies all over the carpet. Oh, no, Roma. What are you going to do? Well, it would be a bit of a worry, Tula. You've never seen a mess like it. But fortunately, I've got this. Hooby galooby. What's that, Roma? It's a vacuum cleaner, Ivor. You switch it on like so. <laughs> then it starts to make hoob loads of noise. Ooh. But it has a very powerful suck. So luckily, it also sucks up hoob loads of dirt. Oh. Like all these cookie crumbs, leaving the floor nice and clean. Then, after it's sucked them all up, it keeps them in this bag. See? Uh, Roma, aren't the Hoobie cookie crumbs all over the floor again now? Oh, Hoobie bother! <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I'd better start again. This is Roma Hoob, about to vacuum for the second time today. <laughs> Hoobo-toodle-doo! Hoobo-toodle-doo! Who 
Loopy Galoopy, that vacuum cleaner sucked up all that dirt. Yes, that's bound to get Groove clean. I'll ask Hubba Hubba to order us one from Hoobnet. Yes. Don't worry, Groove. You'll soon... Groove, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just thinking of putting some hooby goop on top of the feathers and mud and soap. <laughs> then I'll be really dirty. <laughs> Groove! <laughs> no. Oh. One vacuum cleaner on its way. Rolling through the yucky and the mucky and the mush. Sliding through the grimy and the slimy and the slush. Getting really dirty has become my mission. I'm sure that all this dirt will keep my fur in good condition. I like being sticky and feathery and muddy. But we are keen to keep you clean, our grubby, hoopy buddy. We hope Hubba can get our buddy less muddy. He's not sure a vacuum is the thing. I like being soiled and smudgy from the ground. But you don't keep it to yourself, you spread it all around. So please don't think us mean a cleaner. Machine your hoops, the one that we prefer. Cos... Fur that brush won't get close enough for a hoobble digger. You'll get a shrug and not a hug with gunge on your furry figure. Now you two have had your say, I'll get this off my chest. I know that you like clean, OK, but I think dirty's best. So I'll go rolling through the yucky and the mucky and the mush Sliding through the grimy and the slimy and the slush Getting really dirty has become my mission I'm sure that all this dirt will keep my fur in good condition The vacuum cleaner's here! Yeah. I'll get it! <laughs> OK <laughs> Ooh, ha! I know, I could roll in some hooby bun crumbs uh, Groove! <laughs> Here's the vacuum cleaner! Oh, come on, Groove. This'll suck all your feathers off. <laughs> Which, uh, what the, what the... <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Oh, no, no, I don't want to be clean. I want to be dirty, no, too. No, 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 I like my mud and my soap and my feathers. I don't want them sucked off me. Oh, all right, Groove. I give up. I won't vacuum you. Oh, thank you, Tula. Yes, but what are we going to do? I mean, it's almost time for Hoob News. Who will do, Hoobs? Have you found a way to get Groove clean yet? Not yet, Hubba Hubba. No, and it doesn't help that Groove actually likes being dirty. Hey, who can blame me? Maybe we should change the question to, how can we make Groove even dirtier? <laughs> it's too late for that, Groove. Uh, maybe you should go and see some more tiddly peeps. Oh, this time I'll go. I want to show them how hooby groovy I look. <laughs> Who's going to drive? I will. Come along, come along, come along. See, but Ivor? Yes? We're, We're off, off to, to see, see the Tiddly Peeps. peeps. Hoobble doop, tiddly peeps. Hoobble doop, Groove. <laughs> what happened to you? You're all dirty. Careful you don't drop any of that mess on our nice clean floor. Yes. Oh yes, you have done a good job. <laughs> What's that? Looks like a broom, only smaller. It's called a dustpan and brush. It's for cleaning in the corners where the broom is too big to go. A brush might get you clean, Groove, if the mud on you is dry. Oh, yeah, let's try. <laughs> hey, this feels hooby groovy. Tula, Ivor, look, I'm being brushed. We're watching. And it's getting you clean. Hey, there's only been one thing today better than being dirty, and that's being brushed. Why <laughs> don't you take this brush back with you to the Hoopmobile? Then Ivor and Tula can see if they can brush you really clean. Of course. Thanks so much, Tiddly Peeps. Hoobble Toodle Do. Hoobble Toodle Do. 
looks like a brush is the answer. A few more brushes and Groove will be as clean as a new hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to brush me? Um... Oh, oh, yes, I will. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, 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 this is the only way to get clean, I tell you. <laughs> it's time for Hoop News. Let's go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Tula, don't stop. Oh, Tula, come on, brush me, brush me more. What shall we do with a dirty tootle? What shall we do with a dirty tootle? What shall we do with a dirty tootle? Down here in the end. Yeah. Rub her with a duster. Oh, I'm in a fluster. Rub her with a duster. Down here in the end. Yeah. Scrub me with a scrubber till I'm nice and shiny. Scrub me with a scrubber till I'm nice and shiny. Scrub me with a scrubber till I'm nice and shiny. Down here in the engine. Motor rest like cleaning. Now I'm bright and gleaming. Motor rest like cleaning. Down here. Are you ready with your news, Hoobs? We're ready, Hubba Hubba. Then take it away! Hoobal Doop Whoop! To all you Hoobs out there, welcome to Hoob News, the new show for Hoobs everywhere. I'm Ivor. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today we've been asking the question... How are we ever going to get Groove clean? Why were we asking that question? Because I fell in some mud. <laughs> yes, and he got very dirty. First of all, we heard a hoobly groobly story all about an apron. Aprons are really good at keeping you clean. But they don't get you clean when you're already dirty. But it did mean Tula could give me a hoobal digger. Some things can be cleaned with cloths and dusters. But that just spread the mud all over Groove's fur and the cloth. And then the feathers came out of the Hooby engine duster and stuck onto the mud. I looked Hooby groovy. Then the tiddly peeps told us about soap. But the problem is, you need water to make soap work. We tried to use the soap without water, but it just made Groove sticky. As well as muddy and feathery. Then Roma came up with something truly hoobacious. A vacuum cleaner that can suck up hoob loads of dirt. But I liked being dirty. Well, until I went to see the tiddly peeps. They showed me a broom and a brush that they were using to clean the floor. It turns out you can use a brush on a hoob. Especially a hoob with dried mud all over him. <laughs> And being brushed is even better than being dirty. <laughs> I should say it is, Groove. Yeah. So, it's thanks once again to Iva, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving hoops everywhere a clean peep into the world of peeps. And remember, however dirty you are, have a nice day and hooble toodle do Hooble toodle do <sighs> Oh, where are you going, Groove? Hmm? Oh, I was going to find another mud puddle to fall into so you could brush me again. Oh, no, Groove, 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 wait! <laughs> we can brush you anyway. Oh, really? Right, get brushing. Hala <laughs> <clears throat> oh. oh. in Hoobland and Roma somewhere far away. The motorettes are singing. Your way. <laughs> oh. 